I want to introduce a new face on the show. She's working to be a positive influence on the community in as many ways as possible and doing it with her own flair. Please welcome the outspoken, charismatic, militant, proud, and as raw as 180 proof Southern Comfort with a shot of Everclear, the First Lady Queen, Ebony. What up, baby? The price is right. I'm the winner. Come on down. That's what they said. I'm here. I'm here. Ebony. Hey, baby. It's me. No one else. It's me. Hello, world. Y'all ain't really ready for me, but guess what? I'm going to get y'all ready. We're going to slowly get y'all ready for me because I'm who you need to see because I'm First Lady Queen, and that's just who I be. Oh, y'all didn't know, but I rap. Y'all don't know. I'm too live for TV. That's probably why you ain't never seen me. But uh, you will get to know me. And I will be giving tips. I will be providing resources. I will be coming on and talking and engaging and conversating. It's First Lady Queen, baby. You gotta live your dreams. Huh? What? Who? What power? Y'all know what I mean when I put that up. <laughs> See what I gotta deal with? <laughs> Let me tell you, she too live, too live. Too live crew ain't got nothing on her. No, ain't no twerking. We don't twerk in these videos. That I'm worried about that. <laughs> yeah. All right then. Here on out, we're gonna do a new segment led by the queen, and she's gonna talk about tips for the ladies. With no further ado, we're gonna give you the queen. Here I am, baby. <laughs> Your queen <laughs> to be. You the dip in the the. Y'all know what I'm talking about on Coming to America. You are the queen to be. I can't sing. I don't give a damn. He couldn't sing. Y'all didn't loud and laugh at Eddie. You accepted him. So accept me. Why y'all want to judge me? I ain't no different than you. I bleed red. Do you bleed blue? Okay, then. Shit. What you mean? <laughs> y'all ready for the tips? Are you constantly reporting bad news? Hey, did you know that Jane lost her house? Tim's wife died. Sarah got fired. Rick's wife is cheating on him. Oh, and Michelle Obama is pregnant by George Bush. Do you always find yourself in the middle of some drama like a high school cheerleading squad? Are you always complaining about something? The weather, the government, your co-workers, your this, your that. If you answer yes to any of these questions, chances are you have a bad attitude and you're a negative person. I know because I used to be you. When I tell you, my attitude was raw and it was because of all the things that I experienced throughout my life. So you never know the reason why a person is how they are. It's a reason behind every bad attitude and negative person. One day I had to look at myself and realize I need an attitude adjustment. And if you feel the same way, I have four positive tips that will help you transform your negative attitude into a positive attitude. Tip number one, locating the source of your anger. Once you have a clear understanding on the root cause of your anger, you can begin to work towards positive solutions and changing your attitude. You can try by implementing the seven ways technique. Ask why until you can't say why anymore. For example, I'm mad. Well, why are you mad? I can't see my forehead. Why can't you see your forehead? Why you don't know? What? You don't have a mirror? You don't, you're not tall enough? You don't have eyes to see? What is the problem? So you always want to ask why until you get to the root cause of what the real problem is. If you can't be honest with anyone, at least be honest with yourself. Tip number two, change your surroundings. Negativity is like a disease. It's highly contagious and it's hard to cure. When somebody has a bad attitude, it can easily be transferred to the next person. It's like going to the emergency room. It's cold, my goodness. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. You're sick as a dog, damn near on your deathbed, and you get to the counter, and you have a receptionist look at you, can I help you? With a face of disgust, like not another sick person, as if she don't work in the emergency room. In order to combat the negative forces of the world, you have to use positivity. Bad association spoils useful habits. So choosing to associate with those who have a positive mindset will help cultivate your positive mindset. Tip number three, meditation and yoga. 
In this day and time, we are moving at light speed. We are constantly on the move. We're getting the kids off to school. We racing off to work. We trying to decide what's for dinner. We keeping up with all our social media words, y'all twittering and tweeting and all that. I know it sounds cliche, but meditation and yoga are extremely relaxing. I always thought meditation and yoga was foolish looking and boring. But now I have a new respect for both of these art forms since implementing them in my positivity regimen. To be honest, I have really found inner peace and I wish the same for you. So don't dismiss yoga and meditation. The fourth and final tip is to read positive quotes. This is one of my favorite tips. Highly recommended by me. Like that right. You want to keep positive information in your face at all times. It's easy to always go back to your negative mindset. It's easy to see something on the news that makes you think again about negative aspects and what's going on in the world. So you have to keep positive quotes in your face. I keep them everywhere. At, at work, at home, in my car, they in my purse, they are everywhere. On my bathroom mirror, I have a quote by Malcolm X and it says, once you change your philosophy, you change your thought patterns. Once you change your thought patterns, you change your attitude. Once you change your attitude, it changes your behavior patterns and then you can take action. I love that quote. I keep positive things around me. So go Google positive information, positive quotes, inspirational quotes, and just print them out and post them everywhere at work. Put them in your face. Make sure that you can see them so that you can keep that positive mindset. That's really all that's going to help you. You have to keep drowning yourself with the positivity in order for you to get the results that you're going to want. There are many women out there that are tech savvy and this is not for you. If you just wanna know the difference between megabytes and gigabytes, then you're in the right place. Today we're gonna discuss TVs and I like Vizio so I'll use them as an example. We have two 50 inch LED 1080p 120 hertz smart TVs, but one is 3D. 50 inch only means that it's measured from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And LED means there's light emitting diode just like in a flashlight. 1080p means that there's a 1920 by 1080 pixels on the screen. The P is for progressive scan and the 120 hertz is the frequency of times that the screen refreshes. So the difference between the two is that one is 3D and the other one isn't. What I see is a $190 difference for something that you may only use once. I'm a budget baller. I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't like 3D movies in a theater, so why would I watch the same movies I wouldn't see in a theater at home? And since we are on the subject of useless features, do you really need a smart TV? Ask yourself this. Do you use your TV's smart feature to do anything else but use it for Netflix? Would you rather use your tablet, phone, or computer and do the same thing in the TV app? Have you ever found an app on TV you just couldn't live without? Do you even know how to operate your smart TV's feature? You probably don't. If you said no to any of these, then you could have saved some money. And if you really feel you need to get it, then just get a smart Blu-ray player. Don't buy into the hype. Spend that extra money on something really important, like yourself. And if you worry that your man will not appreciate your thriftiness, put on that new outfit you just bought with them bad heels, bring him some beer and food, and it'll be all good, like you didn't know. You see what I'm talking about? It's on. <laughs> yeah. Ebony. You see what I gotta deal with? <laughs> oh, damn it. You damn Who told that phone to ring? <laughs> Don't worry about it. They just, hey, this is a professional show. I'm telling you, it's professional. Oh, you see our setup? We good. Don't worry about no phones ringing. That means we got business. Don't, don't hate on us. Don't do it. Don't you do it. See, I got a show for you. You're negative. You always want to try to say something about somebody. Don't worry about us. We good. I'm still looking cute, right? I got on a vest. Everybody is in their business attire. It's going down, right? Turn your ring off. 
That's all right. He got all the look. He got all the all the look. All the, they coming. You see what I'm talking about? They here, baby. We here. We ain't going nowhere. Alright.